Hello. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I am well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, doing well. Great, it's so wonderful to be back. Yeah. Um, so we are doing something interesting today. Mm. And the, the gadgets, we are going to be doing a quiz. Yeah. But an interesting topic. And at the end, please do wait. I know the title says, um, Tips to Survive a Long Distance Relationship. And this is what we'll talk about at the end. So most of the things I'm mentioning here are going to be A, surprise to everybody. Don't mind if there's no reason. That's why you'd be like, what? Because we decided to do this differently. Oh, yeah, sure. So he has a list of questions. Mm -hmm. You can just show them to the screen. Okay, these are my questions. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I know nothing about them, and I have a list of questions that he knows nothing about mm -hmm. in a bid to try and encourage each other to study um, and the Word of God. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a quiz, guys. Please bear with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and let's get into it. Okay, maybe we can pray before we start. Most definitely. Okay, let's pray. Our Father, I'd like to thank you for this supper. Thank you for taking care of us as we are going to be discussing your word. May you please lead us, may your Holy Spirit be amongst us. We pray all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So, for the first. I think you can leave. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I leaving? Uh, you have you more surprises. The water. <laughs> no. Okay, so my first question is can you spell the word for us? Uh, yes. And he has a minute to answer each question. So I don't know how I'm going to do it because he said I can just put um, yeah, yeah. Like the stopwatch. So let's go. Uh, S A B B A T H. Yay! <laughs> Your question. Okay, uh, now my first question um, is What does the Sabbath mean to you? Mm -hmm. The Sabbath means a time to disconnect and connect. Mm. Disconnect with the world and connect to God. Mm. So that's what the Sabbath means. And I answer that in terms of it. No. Right. Mm -hmm. um, it's your turn. Oh, it's my turn. Mm. Right. Pardon me. So let me get to your question. Number two is name five people in the Bible who kept the Sabbath. Um, Hold on. Let's go. Moses. Adam. Jesus, um, Aaron, oh, okay, I'm going to say God, Jesus was human, um, God in human form, uh, John the Revelator. How many do you have? Five. Okay, excellent, you're still in time, thank mm -hmm. you. Um, yes, yes, sir. Okay, um, so me, I'm not <coughs> asking biblical questions. I'm asking personal questions. So let me get personal a bit. If there was no law in the Bible that said, remember the Sabbath day to keep holy, mm. um, do you think you would wish for the Sabbath? Wow. See, that's so Okay, I think we have to put the time. Okay, I have me, I'm using the, the one on the screen. Oh, spot. right. Yeah. Um, if there are no, yes, most certainly. When I wish for it, yes, mm. because my body clock just tells me that around this time you need to rest. Like, I'm wasted. Mm. So probably I would wish for the Sabbath if there were no law. But I probably don't know which day it is, but I would need a day. And I think God just put it like, you know, the satanic reason. Mm. God just put it in your body, yes. He just give it to your body, so like, okay, now it's time to rest. Oh, thank you. Okay, so um, my fourth question is, fifth, huh? Mm -hmm. Is actually, what does the Sabbath mean to you? Um, it means uh, getting time to spend, like, to spend time with my creator. Okay. Um, I've heard of people who go through a divorce, uh, mother and father. In the court, they say, you know what, we know you're going to separate, but you need time to 
connect with your children. So we are giving you one month, uh, every last weekend of the month, we'll be taking out the children and everything. Because of sin, we have been separated away from God. The Sabbath reminds me, the Sabbath reminds me that each and every week I get time to spend with the one who created me. Mm -hmm. Though the worldly pressures are always separating or making me forget about him. Each and every Sabbath we get time to know that I'm a creature I'm created and there's someone who really loves me mm -hmm. and who spends time with me. True. So that's what the Sabbath means to me. Thank you. That I still belong to God. Thank you. Right. Your turn. Um, okay. I know that you're an Adventist, the Sabbath, yes. But why did you choose to go to the Adventist church? Yes, there are many churches that observe the Sabbath. Why the Adventist church? So cool, right? The question is why did I choose you? When there are so many events of me Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's the way the world turns up mm -hmm. uh, because of other factors, mm -hmm. right? It's not like it's just one part. Mm -hmm. So you are a full package, and that then causes me to say, ah, okay, I don't just want this guy because he's a cute nose, mm -hmm. but because he gives a complete package. Mm -hmm. So the same day that this church presents itself as, okay, they keep the Sabbath, mm -hmm. praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. What else do they adhere to? The biblical truth, they are there to add the qualities that the Lord then says, the Lord is your testimony, yeah. I thy aid. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. I write, I need to confirm my question. Which mm. number we are? Uh, Six. Five. No, I, I asked the number five. So I'll get, I'll get I'll skip this one. Mm. Um, I'd ask you to name five people in the Bible who kept the Sabbath. Mm. So do you have any Bible references for at least three? If you do not have, please just give us the story where they kept the Sabbath. Okay, I mentioned Adam mm -hmm. uh, when he was created. Um, the next day God gave them the Sabbath. Genesis 2, yeah. excellent. Yes. And the next one was Moses. Mm -hmm. uh, He's given the commandments, Exodus chapter 20. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it on. That's 8 to 11. Then Jesus says, mm -hmm. as it was his custom, mm -hmm. he went to the synagogue. Look for 16. And yet <laughs> when he was crucified, mm -hmm. oh, Mary and the disciples kept the Sabbath as well. Exactly. Yeah, whilst yeah. they were waiting for him to be there. They didn't know that he was going to be there. But for them to put the ointments and stuff, mm -hmm. they have to observe the Sabbath. Excellent. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm so proud of you. This morning we started in Matthew 26 for you, and I hear that in Matthew, it's after Matthew chapter 26, verse yeah. 1. You preserved them that way, too. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it's your turn. Um, we haven't been to church. We haven't been posting. Mm -hmm. She hasn't been to church for almost two months, uh, just about two months. During COVID, people were not going to church as well. Is there anything wrong to continue like that? Not going to church. Like Neglect not the fellowship um, with the brethren mm -hmm. as we do. So I, I don't think that there's anything wrong when there are restrictions per se. Mm -hmm. Remember how churches were done during the time of um, the Roman persecution era. People actually go to house churches and Christians are sent in the houses. Remember when Paul comes into the picture, mm -hmm. Barnabas takes him to the brethren mm -hmm. and then they show him. So house churches were a very common thing mm -hmm. each time there's persecution. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't think there's anything wrong mm -hmm. that we have church, the three of us, mm -hmm. and life moves, but it's just wonderful to have communion with the brethren as we encourage. So when circumstances don't permit, that's okay when you're on uh, the period of cleansing, if they call it, but it's okay. Yeah. But when it's COVID, it's okay to do have the ability to have a home church, that's excellent. Mm -hmm. Should I say that Revelation 13 is soon to be fulfilled mm -hmm. and we will be returning to those churches very soon? 
the underground churches. We were watching a presentation by Conrad Vine, mm -hmm. which was speaking of the underground churches. So we are moving towards that too. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite thing about the Sabbath? Um, it's, it's all about God. Um, the pressures of life, I forget about them. Okay. And, uh, you know, when I, today, especially today, the Sabbath of today, I was thinking about heaven more than anything else. How beautiful heaven is going to be. It reminds me that, you know what, the pressures of life are just temporary. The rest of life, which is eternity, is beautiful. Each time I experience Sabbath, it's beautiful, especially when I get time to connect to God even through nature. Just makes me look forward to what's about to happen. Guys, I know you will cook seven points for Sabbath to come, right? <laughs> and the thing is, they appreciate most the greater. It's a cookie in your hand. What? Marriage, guys, go to <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah. I hear you, idiot. That's beautiful. Uh, yeah. Um, now we're saying it's the Sabbath. The Sabbath. Mm -hmm. um, what evidence do you have that Saturday is the Sabbath? Hasn't the calendar been changed? <laughs> is that your personal question? You say you're asking personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you observe the Sabbath on Saturday. No, no, no. no. <laughs> you're asking your personal questions. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Steve. So, um, what evidence do I have? Mm -hmm. The weekly cycle is not changed. And this guy is asking this question because he was watching a presentation by Stephen Paul, where Stephen Paul makes with it. Mm -hmm. And I was not paying attention because mm -hmm. I was busy with mom. But anyway, <laughs> um, I will try and answer it, and I think you'll do a better job at putting in the corrections. So, we know that the weekly cycle since creation is not changed. Mm -hmm. Um, in Genesis, we have the Sabbath being established, and it was established on the day that just continued. First evidence, rather, is that the Jews have kept the Sabbath since creation, mm -hmm. or since they were in existence as a nation, mm -hmm. because they don't exist from creation. Mm -hmm. They exist from the, when the Jewish nation is established. Mm -hmm. So they have kept the Sabbath, it does not change. Mm -hmm. So that's living evidence, mm -hmm. right? Then, we have evidence that from the time that the Sabbath is established to the time when Jesus comes, mm -hmm. the Sabbath is not changed. Mm -hmm. So if there was some change, Jesus would have mentioned it or would have shown us that, ah, okay, there's this change. Mm -hmm. Then from the time of Jesus, there's that continuity that comes with the apostles, mm -hmm. that they too continue to keep the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So that's very simple to establish. Number two, we know when Christ died. Mm -hmm. We know when he resurrected. Mm -hmm. So if in Matthew we are told that and on the day after the Sabbath, mm -hmm. they went to the tomb. Mm -hmm. Then it was very clear mm -hmm. that, ah, okay, so which day is the Sabbath and which day is not the Sabbath. So that would be my understanding that that's the evidence that the Sabbath is not changed. The cycle is not changed with the Jews that are there in the Sabbath. You know, it, it's amazing how God, people have done a lot of things. Mm -hmm. They always tried a lot of things, changing calendars, doing this and this. Mm -hmm. But God just said, you know what? This one is not going to change. Mm -hmm. Months have changed, years have changed, uh, a lot of things have changed. But God is just saying, this one will remain. He's <laughs> 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 putting his hand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, my turn. Yeah. Okay. When was the Sabbath first kept? In the Garden of Eden. Do you want to think about it? Okay. Guys. Yeah. You can help me if you have a divergent answer. Do you agree that in the Garden of Eden? I will not tell you the answer for this one. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Okay, your turn. All right. Um, then number seven. What systems are currently in place that makes it difficult for you or other people to keep the Sabbath? What systems? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the work, you know what you mean? It may be work, school. Please okay. define what the system is. Okay, how we operate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What makes people to keep difficult to keep the Sabbath? Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think work, um, school beginning, mm-hmm. like you might have exams on a Sabbath, you might need to attend lectures on a Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think it is interesting of being God, mm-hmm. like just feeling like, oh, okay, yeah, but it doesn't matter. Also, I don't think it's disinterest. This is why we're treating God as your friend, which we should, but thinking that, oh, okay, he's changed what he said. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, the failure to say to God and give specification mm-hmm. on this commandment in particular. Mm-hmm. Because, like, when God says, don't commit adultery, mm-hmm. it's very clear. Mm-hmm. And we don't say, ah, oh, but God, mm-hmm. but how about, but this, but this, but some, but one. I, I don't know what it's like, but that system of thinking, ah, God didn't do me for that, mm-hmm. then becomes uh, a hindrance. Thank you. Well, you want to say? Some more? Yeah, I'm trying to think, and then sometimes it's probably just the cares of this world, mm. like to treat, keep the Sabbath in the truest sense, mm. to say I keep the Sabbath, but sometimes my mind wanders in all that stuff. Not that God says your mind wanders, so you are punishing, no, mm. but you know that you could better experience the Sabbath. So it's the cares of this world. Thank you. Um, I would also want to add to say we, our life depends more, not mostly, mainly, not mainly, but to a greater extent on how much money you're making, how much money you use from day to day. Mm-hmm. And the systems uh, that are the mm-hmm. working days are Monday to Friday, Saturday. Yeah. So if you want to thrive in business in whatever, mm-hmm. then you have to follow that and rest on a Sunday. True. So it's normal to be laid back on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense naturally from the time we're born to every day to say Sunday is the rest day. Mm-hmm. Saturday is a busy day. So you might not be caught to work on the Saturday, but it is the day that you can be doing. So Monday to Friday, you're caught up at work. Saturday, you are going to work. I just have to work. Climate change. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you then things like that. So naturally, when you look at it, it makes sense to do your business or your extra businesses on Saturday yeah. than on any other day. True. All right. Thank you. Um, number eight is, well, Christian, mm. keep the Sabbath in the last days. Yes. Um, Christians will, if you read, like there's going to be persecution in the last days on those who keep the law of God. Um, and the law of God includes the Sabbath. If you are going to stand up for God in the last days, it means you'll be keeping the law of God. So those who are going to stand up, the ones whom Jesus is going to come and rescue in the mm-hmm. last days, are the ones who will be keeping the, the Sabbath and the other laws of God. In fact, before you to end the speech, you're supposed to recite this verse by hand because he's like, are there any Adventists in here? <laughs> but anyway, these are the day we keep the commandments of God and mm-hmm. have the testimony of Jesus. So that's them. Mm-hmm. And I probably want you to end um, Matthew, Matthew, which says that, Matthew 24, which says that pray that your flight mm-hmm. is not on the Sabbath because yeah. he likes the part that more to them who mm-hmm. keep that. Who keep that, yeah. Like really? <laughs> anyway, so it also speaks of not having your flight in the Sabbath. Yes. So we know that last day to keep the Sabbath. Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, have you ever stood up for the Sabbath in your life? Did God come through for you after you stood up? Oh, that's so powerful mm-hmm. and personal. Yes, I have um, final meetings that were taken. Mm-hmm. And I made it to the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> That is a good thing, <laughs> having a court case, okay. I, I want to thank God, um, yes, when I was finally in university, mm. an exam that was scheduled for Sabbath, and I think we had recently, yes, we had recently gotten married. Mm. Um, I was supposed to finish school first, then get married, but COVID happened, so. So anyway, uh, we got married, and um, the exam came, and for the Sabbath, and it meant that for the exam, I need to then do the whole year again. Mm-hmm. So it was quite a trying time. In the afternoon, we went and we prayed. And Friday night, we did not know what to do. So a couple of lawyer friends um, then took up the case to court. But then the court just, it was an urgent chamber application. And they said, 
act we can only be told to get into the examination room by 4 p.m. That's the latest we've been able to stretch for you. But remember, the council is there from sunset to sunset. And this was summer, so the summer was getting around six, six beds. Yeah. So it was really impossible to do anything about it. And then we went and we um, stood outside the exam, the what's called Way Hall at, um, at the University of Zimbabwe. So we stood outside and we're really thinking in the afternoon I was just crying and praying and crying and praying, saying, Lord, what do I need to do at the chapel outside? And I was looking like a fool. And my friends, the three of us, so we went and stood outside. And when we were outside, um, a certain professor just came in like, uh, I got this book in my office. I've been studying it, and the book was the Dirac Agit. And I secured that what happened. That the exam starts late mm. at 7. <laughs> so we ended up studying the exam at 7 and ended at 9. The entire class came back here. And that's a big class, like 150 plus people. And people were not happy with us, but the Lord came through for us. And that strengthened my faith with regards to the Sabbath. The Lord helped me. I do not compromise. He might disagree with my husband on how to apply principles, but I do not compromise on the Sabbath. That just taught me that, no, the Lord wants us to keep the Sabbath as we come to. And even if he does not, um, it's been three minutes, and we get each other a minute to. I will have you feel me. Okay. Um, it's now your turn to ask me a question. Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. How do you just let me say it's your turn? Anyway, um, my question is good. The result is just on the top. <laughs> Remember, the star was said to be good. Should have stuck the train in there. My one minute is up. <laughs> so, your next question. Okay, the next question. Do you think we are preaching enough about the Sabbath as we do any other truths in the Bible? Is it necessary we just putting pressure on people? What the Sabbath is? The Sabbath is, yeah. Do you think we are really preaching it enough? Yes and no. If the Sabbath issue for me is more than just going to tell people that the Sabbath is that and they remember the Sabbath to mm -hmm. be holy. It, it, it is so centered on the cross and righteousness by faith in mm -hmm. such a beautiful way. Mm -hmm. So if we truly embrace it holy, mm -hmm. we will do a better job in it. But I, I think people are moving towards that direction, yes. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the effort. Mm -hmm. And I think that there is still room for improvement for all of us, myself and ourselves included. Uh, if you look at the issue of righteousness by faith and how Christ um, deals with us, there is still room for improvement. No, thank you very much. May the Lord help us to keep the Sabbath and to show others how the Sabbath is supposed to be kept as well. All right, are you done? Uh, I think it's yeah, my the last one and that's okay. the last one. Okay, please sing a song on the Sabbath. Sing the song on the Sabbath. Sing a song on the Sabbath. Any okay. song. Today is my favorite day. Cause there is a special day. I love tomorrow. Yesterday. But today is my favorite day. Let's go. Sunday. Oh. Someone is this for come. Yes, yeah, so thank God for the Sabbath and the day that, that we rest. I would have loved to sing many more songs on the Sabbath, but I only had a minute. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Um, then how do you normally prepare for the Sabbath? That will be the last question. 
Um, I know more. I how do you know you say okay so I prepare the eating on Thursday, maybe mm-hmm. I'll be starving that. Mm-hmm. Um and then I just prepare what I can on Thursday, put it in the fridge, and then Friday do the cleaning and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Deciding what we'll put on before is helpful. Mm-hmm. Though now because we've not been going to church, it's really not been a problem. Yeah, that's just so that's how I normally prepare. Before the baby, mm-hmm. I've just made sure that we do that. Everything is prepared for wherever. Then most of my clothes, okay, so let me categorize it. There's clean, there's clothes, mm-hmm. there's the house. Mm-hmm. So with cleaning, you just take it as you go, like during the week, and then Friday mm-hmm. you do the final what what for the Sabbath. Mm-hmm. Then the clothes, prepare them before, but usually because my clothes will be in the hangar, it means they will be prepared for maybe Sunday or Thursday, something mm-hmm. like that. Then the heart <laughs> is what we will be using for all. Thank you very much. Um, thank you for being with us. The baby has given us about 20 minutes, yeah, um, a minute for each question. Uh, we know maybe. someone who ended up taking more, mm-hmm. taking more time. That's the baby right. It's over. So. That's right. Yeah, because I was laughing if someone wanted to say something. And so anyway, I say tips on how to have a long distance relationship. Oh, That's what we're meant to be talking about. And this is what we want to emphasize. All the tips that we've been giving you mm-hmm. are tips to emphasize, to sustain a long distance relationship. Our relationship with God. Precisely. Mm-hmm. So I will share a story about this next time on how our relationship survived mm-hmm. on a long distance and the blessings that that has provided you. But in the next video, thank you so much for watching and may God bless you. All right. Bye. Okay, bye. Thank you.